Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been a long while but I'm back and today I'm doing a review and styling of some of my favourite Converse at the moment. So I've got three pairs as you can see here, boxes written mashed through the post. Um, but these are basically the high top platform. So I've got three different styles but they've all got a thick platform so they're not the normal Converse. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go through each one and then we'll go through a little like styling video of what I would wear with them. So guys, these are the three Converse platform trainers that I'm gonna be trying on for you today. They go from the least expensive to the most expensive. So I'm gonna start with the least expensive first and make my way to these really excited to try them on so the first one i'm trying on is the converse high platform so these are just like the basic ones um they all come in the same box you'll just black converse box um so they literally look like normal converse but on stilts so they've got a huge platform um there is really nothing different about them apart from the platform all the same material, canvas material, same lacing, everything like that. Um, I've actually got a normal, excuse me, because they're so dirty, okay. Um, but this is your normal kind of pair, so if you see the sole, and this is the high platform ones. So they are huge, nearly almost double um, in sizing, but I like that. Doesn't have the black ring around it. It also, it feels different. These feel a bit more rubbery, almost cheaper, I'd say. Um, they're so light, I feel like you could just chuck them about. This also has another layer on top of the toe, probably like for protection. This doesn't, this is all just one layer. They do look exactly the same, it's just the platform. It's weird, this feels like tyre rubber, like good quality rubber, and this feels like cheaper rubber. These feel a lot heavier than these, even though these are bigger. After trying them on, they do just feel like your normal Converse really, apart from you're a lot higher. Um, for me, it's a bit weird wearing platform shoes, so I did find it a bit weird. But other than that, they just feel exactly the same as wearing Converse. Um, Converse aren't really super comfy, but then they don't hurt either. They're just kind of the standard kind of shoe. Um, but yeah, I do really like these, I really like them. So my next shoe is the Converse Runstar Hike. Now automatically when I pick these up, these feel way heavier. Um, they do have a different sole. So they've got different colors as well. They've got like the brown at the front and then the black at the back. Um, these are more like hiking shoes, I guess. So they've got this extra grip. So the weird thing about this is that, as you can see, there's kind of like, three parts to the sole. This part is like your normal Converse, what I was talking about, your normal like tire kind of rubber, good quality rubber. And then you've got the second bit, which is like the platform bit, which is the same as the previous platform shoes, which feels almost like a cheaper kind of rubber. And then obviously you've got the hiking bit. So it's like, it's almost got three soles, which is pretty cool. But another thing that's different is the stitching has got like a different design. If I get these ones back here, um, as you can see, this has got like an additional little half circle and these don't. Um, but apart from that, the lining is exactly the same, material is exactly the same, both canvas tongues are exactly the same as well. Um, so the only difference is, is that you've got the stitching and you've got this awesome sole. Which I really like. They also have this little loop at the back which the other ones don't have um which is just another nice addition these just feel a lot better quality i also love the fact that it doesn't have the converse all star at the back it has the logo the little star i just think these look really different and they look pretty cool so after trying them on they are so comfy these are more comfy than the other ones they have like an insole in them um, I guess because they're hiking shoes, they're probably a bit more durable. I could wear these for a longer duration than the other ones. So guys, my next final shoe is the Run Star Hike, but these are in leather and instantly I feel that these just look so much more premium. These again are hiking trainers, so they have the grip at the bottom, which I really like. I'm really liking this grip sole. This rubber even feels better quality than the previous two. Um, even the middle platform bit feels really good too. Really soft, really soft. And they've also got the grip tread underneath. And this time they've got pink stuff. 
and they have this. I just realized that this is to help you get your shoes on. I didn't know that. So they also have a mustard tongue and they have a mustard material at the back here. Um, the laces, again, even different quality. Whether it has a rope lace instead of the normal laces. One thing that is amazing about the shoe and that is perfect for autumn, winter, is the inside. I don't know if you can see. Inside is like felt. And so when you put your foot in it, it's... It is so nice. Not only is the felt on the sides and the tongue of the shoe, it's also on the insole. So when you put your foot in, it is nice and toasty, which we love because who wants cold feet? Um, also has an insole again, so it's super, super, super comfy. And that is obviously down to they are hiking shoes. So they are really comfy. <laughs> them are so so nice i really really like this style of shoe and i really like all of them if i had to choose my favorite it would probably be the second one because they are really comfy and i really like the hiking kind of style on the sole of the shoe um but yeah if you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all next time Bye.